Hey guys, today I'll be showing you my Phantom Knight stuff for you for November of 2020. It's November. Uh, I hope everybody had a great Halloween last night. Uh, sadly, I didn't put a video on Halloween. I was busy um, with things and, you know, <laughs> you know how life is. I'm also in my finals of, uh, you know, school and stuff. And you know how finals are. They exceed a lot of you. But yeah. So right now, Phantom Rage has the sneak peek out. Uh, or the pre-release, I still don't think it should be called a sneak peek, but it has come, to, it has come, and we have gotten the new Phantom Knight support. A lot of people are very excited for this because they think this is going to be met, a new meta, this is going to be crazy because Bardish is bad. In my opinion, is it could be, but it could not be, because the reason why this is a fan favorite deck, uh, it's been nostalgic and all that stuff, yeah, but against dragon link against a bunch of other things yeah uh, yeah i can understand um but in my opinion it's just like nice good support for just phantom nice that i really needs it i'm do i'm sad that one of the cards is really expensive right now and i can't get it right now since you know phantom knights is one of my other it's one of my top five rv decks that i like and getting the three copies is going to be a bitch to get but yeah, enough of me talking. Let's see what am I playing, and yeah, what are you guys? Um, what I can show you. So first off, we're playing three copies of Phantom Knight Ancient Cloak. Everybody knows what Ancient Cloak does. Um, it's um, I'm not gonna. Uh, oh yeah, do a. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. This is a new setup that I have. If you can see, uh, it's something different that I'm trying to do. Um, learning how to use um, OBS better. But yeah, three copies of Phantom Knight Ancient Cloak. Everybody knows what it does. I'm only gonna be saying the the new cards, which are that uh, right now, because I do did had a Phantom Knight deck profile a long time ago. So yeah, I might put a link below if you want to read the effects. But yeah, three copies of Ancient Cloak, three copies of si uh, Silent Boot. The great thing about Silent Boot is because he when he's in the graveyard, you can banish it, add one of your Phantom Knight spells or trap cards to the hand to the graveyard. It's really nice, and yeah, this is why you need three copies of this. Hands down. Next up is three copies of the new card, which is this is Phantom Knight Tier Scales. Now, this card is insane, and it it, it does add only Phantom Knights, which is nice. It's not a broken warrior monster; it's just Phantom Knights as well. But it still, it's a good card because it is synergizing with the Phantom Knights and other dark monsters. Discard one card because of that. Send one Phantom Knight uh, card from your deck to your hand because of it. Because of the the send discard card, it has multiple um openings for you in other decks like um heroes, uh Goki, or anything like that. Anything with warriors, anything that involves in discarding and activates effect in the graveyard or anything, it works a lot. Send one Phantom Knight card from your deck to your hand, except for tears. Uh, tier skills if another phantom Knight card is banished from your graveyard well this card is in your graveyard you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field the great thing about this is when you xc summon this does not go banish that's great solid so three copies of tier scale i can't wait for this card to just go down a price because i really want to i want to play this card so much but yeah this is three copies of the new guy um what else? Um, the next is the honorary um, Phantom Knight, which is Kagemuchu Knight. If you normal summon level 3 monster, you can special summon this, this card from your hand. It cannot be used as a synchro material, but you can use it as a link material, which is nice. So yeah, three copies of that. Then three copies of Blue Mountain Butter Butter Spy. This is um this Butter Spy is really good. A lot of people don't play it, but I play it because it looks it, it's fun because it is a warrior. He's a level she's a level four, and you get an additional special summon, which is nice. Cannot be normal summon when you normal summon a warrior monster. You can special summon this card from your hand. The great thing about this is that you have a lot of level three monsters, and there's a lot of level four monsters also in this deck that you can make in general, which is nice pretty nice and you can use them as a link and you can use her as a link material which is really nice um a lot of people just don't sometimes they see the picture but sometimes like you want they want more of a speed more speed uh more s faster deck uh but i like taking my time with this because it's a fun because it's fun so three copies of that um and that's pretty much it for the three ups of the dark monsters next up is the 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 one ups, uh, the one ups we're playing one uh one uh Phantom Knight Raggedy Gloves. It's it's a great monster, but uh because of tier scales and the other ones, yeah um, it's sad to put gloves in one, but you know what it does. It's really good. 
it's a good monster. It gains it gives that X, that X monster a thousand life, a thousand attack. It's really nice. Next up is Phantom Knight's Stain Greaves. Now I might play this at two. I might play this at two because it's really good. Um, so if you want, you can bump this at two, and I'll tell you a card that you can take off overall but this card is really good if a phantom knight monster is special summon to the field during except during this uh, except during the damage set, you can special summon this card from your hand then increase its level by one you can banish this card from your graveyard special summon one phantom knight monster increase its level by one you can only use this effect of phantom and stain greaves once per turn this is a really good card i gotta say love it love it because it can easily increase the level of Phantom and becomes a level 4. And you can go whoosh, level 4s, all that. So do that. It's really good. So yeah. Um, for the other one ups we we're playing, uh, the other one of the Dark Monsters we're playing is one Armageddon Knight. Because it just sends all the Dark Monsters into the graveyard, which is nice. Then the one Su Danger Tsuchinoko and the one Danger Jackal. Obviously these guys went to one because, you know, they're powerful. And because they're level 3s. Um, they have some versatile versatility because they are level threes. You can easily XC summon a lot of um, your dark, your dark XC monsters, and easily enough you can use them for leg summoning because of their special summon error. Easy enough to score their you know their scarring effect because you know your opponent has to discard one random card from your hand. If it's a Phantom Knight, it's a it's a bonus, and if it's special and this thing is a special summon, hey, that's another bonus, which is really nice. I gotta say, I I love that. Then the non. Uh, dark monsters we're playing is three copies of Hash Blossom. Oh, um, you can play Effect Veiler, you can play uh, anything budget, but Ash is still very good against all decks, hands down. Now for the spells. Now for the spells, I'm playing two copies of the new Rank Up Magic Phantom Force. This card is really amazing. I gotta say, I love it, and it does uh, some crazy play. During the main phase, banish any number of dark monsters you from your from your graveyard. Then target one dark XC monster you control. It doesn't matter. It can be anything. Uh, especially one, one Phantom Knight monster, Phantom Knight monster, Raid Raptor monster, or XYZ dra um, Dragon XC monster from uh, that is is the number of rank higher than that monster you control equal to the uh, number of banished by using its materials. Wow, that is a mouthful. You, uh, you gotta admit, it's a mouthful. This 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 is treated as an XC summon. Transfer the materials to the summon monster for the rest of the turn. After this card is resolved, you cannot special summon any monster from your head except for XC monsters. So yeah, this card is amazing because it has three. Um, it can access three of the the greatest uh three extra um extra deck monster, which is um Ray Raptors, uh, Phantom Knights, Ray Raptors, and um. Dark Rebellions like Sea Monsters, which is really great. I gotta say, I'm glad that this has a versatile with uh, Ray Raptors because you guys know I love Ray Raptors. It's another Arc V deck that I love. It's my main, it's one of my go to Arc V decks, including Heavy Samurais and all that stuff. This is a great card, and I can't wait to use this in uh, Ray Raptors. Really good card. So, two copies of this, and the great thing is a quick play. Uh, next up uh, are the are uh, two copies of Burial from the Different Dimension. Burial of the Different Dimension was us target three up to three monsters and uh, three monsters that are banished and turn them back to the graveyard, which is really nice because you are banishing a lot of your Phantom Knights and you need them back so you can uh, uh, recur their effects again. So, it's a bonus. Really nice card. Um, overall, it's a good card. Then we're playing uh, for the one ups. We're playing the one rank up, uh, the Phantom Knight rank up mag magic launcher. You guys know what this does. This does is uh, it's amazing. It's a really good uh, rank up. It helps you um, open up with uh, Requiem, uh, Evil Swarm Orpheus, um, uh, Two Kings of all, all, all Calamity. So many things, which is really great. And the, the thing is, this I use this card in Ray Raptors as well, which is nice as well. So yeah, I'll copy that. Uh, one reinforcement of the army card because we are looking for, uh, to search any of our warriors because they're all warriors. One monster reborn because monster reborn. One foolish bear so we can send them. And then the one pot of avarice. The one the reason why I'm playing pot of avarice is that I already use Kage Mucho Knight. I already use J Ass Blossom and other monsters that as well. So you know what? You know what I. 
I added this at the last minute and I tried it and actually it works for me. If it works for if you guys don't like it, you can cut this card, add a second skate, add another um stained greaves if you want to. Add a second uh stained greaves. But for me it worked because I rec I shuffled back a bunch of my Phantom Knights and that uh, I know that I cannot special summon again. Shuffle them back and at and draw two, which is nice. Then the one call by the grave, it still works. It's it's you know, it's called by the grave. Now for the trap cards, because this is also a key factor of Phantom Knights, is their trap cards because of what they do. Three copies of Phantom Knight Fogblade. This is one of the cards that is, is racing prices. Even the common one is like right now $7. It's crazy how people are just going nuts for now, Phantom Knights. After this card, target one of five monsters in the fit, negate the face up monster's effects. That monster cannot attack. Also, the monster cannot target that face up monster for attack. So easy enough, that monster is deemed useless until you use it for link summon or whatever but yeah but also it reads you can banish this card from your uh from your guys one phantom Knight monster in your graveyard special one but banish it when it leaves the field which is nice because obviously you don't have you're not going to banish it because you can xc summon it and it doesn't it doesn't go banish it goes to the graveyard that's pretty nice Two copies of that. Uh, two copies of Phantom Wings. It's actually pretty nice Phantom Wings in the deck. A lot of people are putting this at one. I actually like that too, which is really nice. Uh, the one I was playing, the one Phantom Knight Sword is really good. Giving that 800, 800 uh, boost as well. And then we got the Phantom Knight Shade Bardiche. This card, you know what it does. It's a great card. I love it. Um, it's just an easy um, link material overall. If you have no... Uh, uh traps in your graveyard which is nice now for the extra deck extra deck is always is always an option and this is how i liked it and i really enjoyed how it is but yeah so one copy uh so we're gonna be starting with uh yeah with the x with the the xc monsters yeah what's some of the xc monsters so first off we're playing two copies of phantom knight break sword obviously everybody knows what break sword does it's one of the great uh one of the best uh rank three xc monsters that ever existed in the entire game you guys know what it does then we're playing with the one Dante. Uh, the one reason why I'm playing Dante is to uh, easy enough just uh, mill my deck and just see if I get more of the Phantom Knight monsters and you know activate their effects. It's still decent. I might cut this. I might cut this. I might cut this in the future and put something else. But yeah, uh, one Dante for now. Um, if you guys something have so, uh, another monster that you want to swap it out, just um, swap it. Uh, three um, sword breakers don't work um if you like to play three star breaker yeah but you're just like losing that slot for a good uh for another monster for now it's dante um if there's another monster then yeah i'll swap it for another monster pretty good next up is the new guy which is the raiders knight this is amazing because this is treated as it requires two dark monsters but this is always treated as a phantom knight and a raid raptor card which is crazy and i just love his art design i can't wait to get this card it's like, like ten dollars i think no no it's not ten dollars it's actually four dollars and it's a really good card and i'm glad that this is treated as a phantom knight and a ray raptor it's not a generic dark monster it's still a generic dark monster but it's not that generic that i thought you can detach woman to you uh from this special sign uh this card special sign from your say a phantom knight raid raptor or a dark xc dragon or rip or monster that is one rank higher or lower than this card by using this card a face up you control as a material but destroy it during your opponent's next end phase this is treated as an exceed as an exceed summon transfer the materials from this card to that one it is really good so it only a lot and the great thing about this people i i saw people thinking that this would have been for something else but it's great that it only you can only use a Phantom Knight, a Raid Raptor, or an XC Dragon, which is nice. Um, meaning, why are you saying XC Dragon? Are you mean any kind of XC Dragon? No, I'm saying Dark Rebellion XC Dragon or Dark um, any Dark Requiem Dragon or whatever what it is. I think that's what uh, Dark XC. But you guess what? I mean. You know what I mean. Then we have the one Dark X, uh, Rebellion XC Dragon. You guys know one of the best rank up fours. At his time, they were playing the one time thief redo because he is a good dark monster and easy enough to steal a monster bonus. It's really nice. I'm playing the one evil swarm Orpheus. Um, I like him. Um, 
I like him just because of that. He's a really good monster. He, he, because he has this, wow, this card has NXT material. Level 5 or higher monster cannot be special summoned. It becomes um, literally a limit remover or a vanity scheme for level 5 monsters. Obviously, because you're playing a lot of lower level monsters. Oh, yeah. Then for the rank, for the rank 5s, we're playing the new Arc Rebellion Exceed Dragon. This is the combination, I think, of all three archetypes. Phantom Knights... Um, Great Raptors and XC Dragons. Uh, this is great. This this XC summon card cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can attach one material from this card. You can only declare a t an attack with this card for the rest of this turn. Also, this card gains attack equal to the combined original attack of all other face-up monsters on the field. Then, if this card has a dark XC monster as the material, negate the effects of all, all face-up monsters on the field. So you see enough, it does have its, its double-edged sword. Overall, which is nice because it means that this card will not be gen that generic, but it's still a semi semi generic card. Um, great card. I love this card. My opponent is just like, oh, you can't destroy it. You can negate the effect, but you can't destroy it by, by card effects, which is nice. Um, it's nice. I love it. Then we have the one Dark Requiem, and then the last card we're playing, uh, Dark Requiem XC Dragon. Everybody knows what this does, baby. Good card, really good card. So that's pretty much it for the C monster. Now for the lane monster, obviously the lane monsters are my choosing. Uh, the one IP Mascarana, because it's IP Mascarana. The one Wee Witch Apprentice, because they're all dark monsters. Now for the rank three, uh, link threes, we're playing the one Phantom Knight Rusty Burgers. I'm glad that they uh, put this at one. Um, if you guys don't know what this does, um, you weren't playing with Orcas. This card was just an easy dark monster to summon, and just sending Phantom Knight, mo Phantom Knight uh, monsters. To add the Phantom Knight spell and trap cards to set them back. Pretty great monster. The one Nightmare Unicorn because it's Nightmare Unicorn. The one Borlo because you know why not Borlo. Um, obviously there, you can swap this for Borlo, Borlo Sword if you want to. Uh, I say you know uh, let's just have fun with Borlo. It's been a while since we've seen Borlo plays, but yeah. And then the one Mac Knight Crusadia Evermax. Obviously this is for the. Uh, IP Mascarena, it's just a good, it's just a good Link monster, and it's literally, it's easy to, um, he's literally the only monster that I know can easily kill, uh, uh, Dragoon, Axis Kotaker, and all that stuff, you know, <laughs> it's that good. So yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it, no side deck, because this is still a experimental build that I'm doing, but yeah, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed this Phantom Knight Death Roll for you for now um i will do another updated version of this in a while until i get my copies of the new cards in the near future i hope so and yeah uh i love this deck and you should try it it's a fun deck it's a fun you know it's a bunch of dark monsters to summon and it's easy to do that so yeah so guys i hope you enjoyed the new um setting uh settings i'm putting on my ob uh my obs that you see the full screen instead of the you see my uh my brackets down uh you know my icons and all that stuff but yeah either way it was it's really fun to uh experiment it was a little bit to experiment with the obs and seeing videos and all that stuff and yeah and also we are in november so this month is going to be my birthday. It will be November the 21st. It will be my birthday. And I will be doing something special for you guys on my birthday. And yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe. Please turn that notification bell on the right. You know, that little bell right there. So you can get notifications when a new video comes to the channel. And if you didn't like this video, there's a door and there's a window. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.